As with any season for any team, there are always question marks heading into the opening weekend of competition. And now that opening weekend for the Sycamores in Las Vegas is complete. Coach Mitch Hannes was able to answer many of those preseason questions. We were pretty pleased, Luke, at the end, looking back on it. I, I think, uh, you know, go out the first game of the series and play clean baseball uh, on dirt. We haven't been on dirt much. I just thought our, our pitching and defense were very, very good. Our, our bats are obviously a little behind this, this time of the year. But uh, in terms of an opening weekend, I, I don't know that we sat as a coaching staff and, and felt like that's what we were going to see. Uh, we, f we figured we'd have a few bumps, but uh, they were very minimal. With losing multiple arms due to injury or graduation, Tyler Ward was about the only known constant for the Sycamore baseball pitching staff. After seeing Tristan Weaver throw straight gas, as the kids say, in the opener on Friday, mixed in with the quality start from Tristan Polly and Tyler Ward doing what he does best. The pitching staff is really starting to take shape. They had stuff. I, I think uh, the poise that they showed, uh, you know, Tristan went out Friday night and that plate got tight at times. Obviously, road team, uh, that happens. That's part of the game and uh, he handled it well. Pitched extremely well. Uh, had, a, had us in a situation to, to win a game that we probably should have won without get away, but that's part of it, and, and Polly threw extremely well uh, against Loyola Marymount, uh, and then of course Tyler on, on Monday. We threw the kids to the wolves on Sunday a little bit. You know, Jeremy had thrown on Friday and then came back to start on Sunday. Uh, we knew we got we had him for a few innings, not a long time, but he was it was probably a little much uh, for him to go out and start that game. But those guys were also throwing against a 40 mile an hour wind, 30 to 40 miles an hour, so it wasn't easy to pitch on uh, against Oregon that day, but. Uh, all in all, our pitching was, was very, very good. If that uh, is something we can hang our hats on the rest of the year, I'll be very pleased. Offensively, the Sycamores were led by newcomer Romero Harris, who hit 385 with a home run, a double, and four RBI on the opening weekend. But he wouldn't have been in the lineup if it wasn't due to Chris Ayers getting nicked up on Friday. Romero stepped in after Ayers got hurt on, on Friday night when Chris went down, and, and uh, he had great at-bats. You know, wasn't phased by the moment. That's been the, probably the theme with this club, you know, that we have so many new guys that you just don't know how they're going to react when they're tossed out there. But their presence and their poise has, has been tremendous. And I think having those guys out a little bit or having some moving around some guys forces a conservative coach to, to throw more guys out there. Sometimes we get too conservative and we, uh, we don't give guys the, the amount of time that they need to really get a good look out there. So I think from the pitching standpoint, you know, having Tyler down most of the weekend helped us throw some other guys out there and give them a look where we may have leaned a little more on seven, eight guys had that not been the case. And, and I think position-wise, you know, you, you get some guys in, uh, but you just don't feel good that you, you, you still got two or three guys because you have to create depth as time goes, and you're not going to create any depth by playing the same guys over and over and over. We covered it a week ago about the Sycamore baseball mentality. It isn't preached every day because the onus is on the players to live up to it. They know what this coaching staff demands of them. And Coach Mitch Hannes liked the mentality in the first weekend. Now it's time to just keep it rolling. When you start out a season, you want a club to go out and compete and be aggressive, regardless of what that other dugout looks like in terms of the uniform. And, and sometimes guys get caught up with who they're playing, so just playing the game. And uh, actually, I, I thought, you know, our club, didn't flinch at any point in time this weekend, and that's that's good to see coming out of the gate. I think you worry about guys being tentative and conservative, and uh, you just can't you can't survive in the athletic world by being conservative and tentative. So uh, from that aspect, I, I was really pleased with the way our club took the field and really handled themselves. I think the, the bottom line in today's game, there are no gimmies. I mean, you have to show up and play well every day uh, to win. The days of scheduling 40 wins, they're, they're long gone. There's so much parity in our game, and, and we expect, you know, Lipscomb on Friday night's got a good club, and they've, they've had a good run here, and we're going to be ready to play. Middle Tennessee's always been solid. Belmont's always been solid. So we know that this weekend, every weekend's a step forward. It's You better be ready or you're going to be stepping back up quite a ways. For recaps and more of the Sycamores this weekend in Tennessee, don't go anywhere else and staying logged on to GoSycamores.com.